Hi guys, my name is Lucia and today we are finally decluttering my palettes. Let me explain why I have so many palettes. I have never owned this many palettes in my entire life. Basically, a couple months ago I gained a lot of subscribers and some PR reps found me and they sent me products and I have been testing out a ton of eyeshadows. I have been reviewing them on my Shop My Stash videos. I will link them down below. But I never really figured out what a good system is of where I put the palettes that I actually actually want in my collection and where I put the ones that I didn't like. So this is just all of them and I definitely don't like all of these and so I just need to go through and give away the ones that I don't like. Now I know I'm gonna get the question of what am I doing with the palettes that I am decluttering. I'm going to donate them to shelters that accept gently used makeup, give them to friends, and sell any that I declutter if I paid for them with my own money. Most of these I did not pay for with my own money because they were sent to me and I would never sell something that was sent to me. But yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna pull them out. There's also also a couple face highlighter palettes in here but I thought I would just do them all together so I'm gonna take them all out of this bin I cannot wait to go through these and just curate everything I think there is 25 here including the highlight palettes and there's also a couple that I haven't opened yet that I have not tested out but I am gonna go through and make sure I still want to test all those out All right, I laid them all out and I'm going to go through them. I'm not really sure where to start. I guess I'll pull out the ones that I haven't opened yet. So I have a basket of products that I haven't tried out yet and that I go through when I do shop my stash. And these are the current palettes that were in there. I did test out, oh my gosh, so many palettes over the past couple months, but I really like to be thorough, so I have not gotten to all of them. I have the Royals palette from Bad Habit, and this is supposed to be a dupe for the Modern Renaissance palette. I've swatched maybe two of these, but I just, I don't want to keep this. I don't have any interest in trying this out. I think that at this point, a lot of people do have dupes for the Modern Renaissance, and I'm just not gravitating towards this, so I am just gonna declutter this before I even try it because I'm just not interested in it. And the other one from Bad Habit is the Retro Love palette. This is the only other Bad Habit thing I have not tried. This is a, supposed to be a dupe for Subculture, and I am gonna keep this. I'm very excited to use this, but I want to wait till it's fall or the weather is a little colder out. I really hope this is good. Some people say this is good. Some people say this is terrible. So we shall see. I'm not going to put this with my collection. I am going to put it back in the basket of things I haven't tried yet, but it is a keep for now. I have some palettes from Coastal Scents, so I already tried out these two, and I have these two that I haven't tried out yet. So the ones I have tried are the Jolie Calibri palette and the Jungle Roar palette. The Jungle Roar palette I liked. I thought the quality was good. None of these shadows are absolutely amazing, gonna blow your mind, but I did like this and I liked the color story, so for now I'm gonna hang on to this. I'm not sure how much I'm going to reach for this, but I do wanna keep it because I want to make a video about palettes that inspire me, so I will keep this for now. And the other palette, the Jolie Calibri palette, I absolutely hated. I was so sad because this is a beautiful color story, but the shadows are just terrible. So I am going to declutter this one. Now for the ones I haven't used yet. I have the Safari Dreams palette. This is what this one looks like, and I am going to hang on to this. I really, really want this to be good. I really like the color story. I am going to test this out in a month or two after I finish testing out the palettes I am currently testing out. And I am going to keep this, again, like the other one, I'm not going to put this back in my collection. I'm going to put it in the basket of products I haven't tried yet, but I am going to be hanging on to this. The other palette is the Charlie Girl palette. And I am not sure if I'm going to keep this. I don't love to get rid of stuff I haven't tried yet, but this really is just a rainbow palette. You guys know how I feel about bright neon rainbow palettes. I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile because I just feel weird about getting rid of it if I haven't even tried it. Like, what if I'm really inspired by it? So, it's going in the maybe pile. Next is the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. You guys know I love this so much. It's like a galaxy themed thing. I am actually using this in my current monthly makeup basket and I love it, so I am keeping that as well as my Z palette with my ColourPop pressed shadows. You guys also know how much I love this and I talk 
talk about this all the time. I made this palette myself. I love it and I am not getting rid of it. Here is the Moonstruck Addiction Shadow Palette from Unique. I am going to get rid of this. I know a lot of you guys had a lot of problems with the brand Unique. I personally haven't experienced those problems, but I did hear you guys when you said that. I actually thought the quality of this was fine. The color of these shadows are actually pretty unique to my collection, but the reason I'm okay getting rid of it is because I was able to create the same look with this Misha Lu Cosmetics Witchcraft Palette, which I am currently testing out, but I'm really enjoying, and so I will be keeping this, but I will be getting rid of the Moonstruck Addiction Palette. So while we're on the topic of this, I am testing this out as well as the Misha Lu the Fawn palette in my monthly makeup basket. These I will keep and I just reviewed the Misha Lu Queen Bee palette which I will also be keeping. Again, those reviews are in my Shop My Stash videos if you would like to see them, but I will be keeping all three of these. Let's do this one. This is the Electric Palette. I was so, so excited to get this palette, and I have used it three times. And the reason I don't use it is because it is a rainbow palette, and I got this before I knew I didn't like rainbow palettes, so I'm going to be selling this on my Instagram. Again, this was only used three times. And on the batch code, you see that this is actually a fairly new palette, even though it was discontinued a long time ago. So sadly, this one is leaving. The Dream Street palette by ColourPop. You guys have heard me talk about this a lot if you're familiar with my channel, and I always say that I like the quality of this, but it's not something you need. Now, if I was trying to curate my collection to not have anything similar, then I wouldn't need to keep this, but I'm not trying to do that. I really like this palette. I just don't think it's anything special. It's not that unique, but I do have it and enjoy it, so I am going to hang on to it. All right, let's do these bad habit palettes. There are so many bad habit palettes. I just posted a big, big bad habit review. I will link that down below as well. So I have the Bad Habit Solstice palette, and I thought this quality was good. I just am not super into neutral warm tone palettes like this, so I am going to get rid of this one. This was the Athena palette from Bad Habit. I had some problems with this, so I'm going to clean this up and get rid of that one. This is the Rosé Highlight Collection palette from Bad Habit, which is a dupe. For the Anastasia and Nicole Grill palette, I'm going to keep the original and I'm going to get rid of the dupe. I just don't have any need for having both of them. This is the Bad Habit Aura palette. You guys know I also had major problems with some of these shades, so that is going to go. This is the Unicorn Glow palette from Face Candy. I am not into rainbow highlights at all, so this is also going to go. Oh my gosh, I am on such a roll here. This is the Bad Habit Supernova palette. You guys know I hit pan like crazy. It was super weird. I can't donate this. I am donating my slightly used palette to a shelter that accepts them, but this is not slightly used in my opinion. However, I have a friend who I think would get use out of this, so this one is also going to go. This makes me sad. I actually pulled this out recently to use it again because I really wanted to like it, and I really like the idea of it. I really like some of these metallics. They're really, really good, but I just know that I'm not going to reach for this. It's not worth it, and with my other palettes, it's just not something I need. I'm sad, but Oh well, goodbye. This is the Bad Habit Aphrodite palette, and this is the only palette from Bad Habit that I am going to keep. I really like these earthy metallic tones. I do enjoy this palette, so yes, I will be keeping that. This is the Modern Renaissance palette, and this has been a long time coming. I am throwing this away. You guys see at one point in time, I absolutely loved this, but the quality has just changed. It is old. I don't like it anymore. I never reach for it. These reds aren't that red anymore. I have stuff that works way more like my ColourPop palette. I find I can get really nice red and pink looks, and this just isn't worth it. So that's another reason why I also wanted to get rid of the Bad Habit Royals palette, because I don't even really like this, so I didn't want to test out a dupe for it when I just knew that I wasn't going to keep either of them. This is my Coastal Scents palette with the single shadows. Now, I'm not going to get rid of this, but I am going to get rid of some of the singles they sent me. So I bought 
all of these green and blue ones. I did a dupe for the Icy Betch palette video. I will link that down below, but I am not crazy about all of these. This is a bronzer. They did send me a couple blushes, a couple bronzers, and a highlight, and I've decluttered all of them, so this one is also going to go, as well as these single shadows. I think for now I will keep these four mattes and all the rest I will get rid of. So that is curated, that's nice, and I will keep some of these. Um, okay, I'm not sure where to put these single shadows. I'll just pop them here. And lastly, we have this Trading Mecca palette. I honestly can't remember the name of this because it doesn't say it. If you guys saw my Instagram story about this a really long time ago, you will know this was a hot mess. These are cream shadows, but I didn't know they were cream shadows and they just don't work at all. However, the metallics do work and I'm not quite sure what to do. A lot of people said, you know, depot the metallics and keep them. I don't know if I would wear them if I did that. Maybe I could put them in this big palette and then I could do a shot my stash where I reach for some of these singles. I think I will do that, but this is going in the declutter pile. I will figure out what I'm doing with the metallics because I can't donate this. It's a cream product. Like I can't give this to anyone and it's also terrible. The creams are terrible, but these shadows here are not awful. The metallics are nice. So yeah, this is going to go, but I'll figure out what I'm doing with those couple singles. And then all that's left is this palette that I had in the maybe pile. I think I'm just going to declutter this. I don't see myself keeping it in the long run. I don't think, even if I loved it, it's just not the thing I go for. So I am going to declutter that. Uh, all right, I'm going to put a pile of all I am decluttering and all I am keeping, and I will count up the numbers. Okay, so for decluttering, I have 13 palettes and then these singles, which I guess could kind of be a palette, but it's not, so that is what I'm decluttering. And then for palettes I'm keeping, I have 10 that I have tried, and then these two, which I'm not considering to be in my collection. I don't know if I will keep them once I try them, but I'm not getting rid of them. So I think that is really, really good. I am really, really happy. Now when I do my Shop My Stash videos, I'll be able to pull for a couple palettes every month that I really like and be able to rotate. And I also don't have to keep looking at a bunch of stuff that I tried out and didn't like. We'll also link my declutter playlist down below if you want to check it out. That is all for me. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!